Hello. Today is the beginning of the Navaratri Puja, that is the nine days of uh, worship plus the one day that called the Vishyatasami, that is the celebration or the consolidation of the all three days of uh, worships. The Navaratri is a very significant day in uh, uh, Hindu culture. So through the Navaratri, Nava mean nine, and uh, so the Ratri mean days, so Navaratri nine days, so the nine days of Puja. So Puja mean praying and worshiping in the God, Goddess. In the Navaratri Puja, we worship in the three um, uh, Goddess, Goddess Turka, Goddess Lakshmi, Goddess Saraswati. So these are the three most powerful three women in, or the ladies Goddess that we worship to achieve that everything that uh, we can have in our life or everything that we needed for our life. Not wanted, so what we need for our life. That is the, you know, the basic part of it. So we visualize three, the female, feminine goddess into nine days. The first three days is pray for a Turka. Turka is pray for the power and the strength. And uh, to represent that one, we have actually prepared the food also to represent the power and strength that we have cooked the uh, uh, green cream and, uh, and also we have added that uh, uh, coconut uh, chips. They are fresh coconut. Uh, um, there. The green cram, you know, also called the mung bean. So the mung bean we have cooked with, uh, um, uh, I can show you that that's a way that, uh, see, you can see that how that is. Uh, uh, so that give, that food is give a strength and the power. <laughs> and the next three days is uh, we worship for the and the first days is uh, represent uh, the red flower. Here, that is what actually we have a red flower. These flowers are from our garden and uh, they are just in time to flower for the Navaratri Puja. Year after year, they flower. And the next three days, that means the three to uh, the fourth, fifth and the sixth days is for the worshipping the Lakshmi. The Goddess Lakshmi Again, it's a feminine or female goddess. We visualize and worship, and that represented by the yellow color. Yellow means the prosperity and the wealth and the health, everything come into that. So, to represent that one, we have included the banana. Banana is, you know, yellow in color that we have included the, like a banana when you worship the wealth when come it will be everything will be soft and nice your life will be purified and uh, life will be full of happiness and uh, health and uh, the last day is the represented by the the pink flower so the pink flower is the education and the wisdom and the knowledge. That is what I was into this, this Navaratri Pusa. We dedicate that, uh, the, that last three days, the uh, seventh, eighth and ninth days for the goddess Saraswati. Saraswati gave the education, Saraswati gave me an education because of the education that I'm here and I'm talking to you today. So that is the, you know, the power of that uh, uh, worship in that lady. During this uh, Navaratri days, that is the one and only time I 
fast and there is no other time in my life I fast. So this is a Navaratri time that uh, I fast. I should make a correction on that. There are some other days that I do fast, but this is the regular, I should say, it. regularly year after year from Simone school days onward, I am worshipping and fasting and worshipping. And only to get an education, I know the education is to means to achieve everything. And to represent that, that beautiful education, knowledge and the wisdom, we have made the rice flakes and the rice flake we add at the fresh coconut everything should be fresh like in the one what it come in your mind and the rice flake like you know like a wisdom wisdom come into in a various form so and also we have added the sweets that the sweet always you know that the knowledge is always a sweet one so that is what we have made these three items as an offering to the goddess uh, Navaratri Puja, the first day, uh, and we start with this one. So as we pass on to that on the third, on the fourth, fourth, fifth, uh, fourth day, and on the seventh day, then we will have the different uh, offering for to celebrate this one. Uh, so this is the the significance of why. We make this different kind of food. Why we represent the Navaratri with the different colors. And so sometimes we represent the colors with the fruits. Sometimes we create a very unique food, food to celebrate the Navaratri festival. That is in short that I have explained the nine days of it. And the tenth day is a very important thing because the first day is the courage and the power and the second day is the wealth and health and prosperity and the third the third the third component is uh, um, uh, knowledge wisdom and uh, uh, so we consolidate everything all three different aspect of uh, achievement we consolidate into a, into a person and that is the way that make everything as a full and complete uh, comprehensive uh, for a person that is called the Vijayata Sami that is will be a 10th day of the celebration. So that is the way that we have celebrating the Navaratri and the Vijayata Sami to achieve, to request our God, Goddess to give us and what we want as an offering, we do this offering to them and we request something to give to us. That is the nutshell. Thank you. So that is the offering of food that we have prepared with the flowers to our goat. Uh, so we have all the goat that we were uh, explaining. This is our prayer room. So we have that uh, uh, all the idol or the, di the idols of our kinder goat and in our prayer room. So we basically worship every day in the morning and the afternoon. Since it is a Navaratri day, we made a special uh, uh, offering. Uh, and thank you very much for watching this uh, uh, Navaratri first day of the video and appreciate your subscription to our YouTube channel. Thank you.